You are watching T to the M to the I D D. What is going on, ladies and gentlemen? T to the M to the I D D. We are here with another video. We are here with a story time, something that I don't get to do quite often. So we're going to have a little story time today. And this is all based on the fact that you get to see mainly the good on my channel. All right. But you don't get to see the bad on my channel. And I want to start this off by saying that the person that this video is alluding to, we don't follow each other. We don't have any communication. I made sure of all of that because definitely wouldn't want uh, that to get out. But I feel like this is very informative for my audience to see how to handle situations like this and to also let you all know that everything does not always go well when I do these photo shoots, especially in other countries. So this is just one of those moments where things did not go right. And I have to document it, share with you all. You can learn from my experience and, and things like that. Now, I will also be blurring out the person in this scenario just to uh, cover any identity, uh, things of that nature, because who the person is really isn't important. It's just the actions of the person and what it led to in terms of the photo shoot. So let's get into it. Story time with T to the M to the I D D. Now this all started a few months ago. I went to Portugal, Algarve, Portugal. And my next stop was going to be Barcelona. So the last day that I was in, Bar in Portugal, I did not have a photo shoot lined up um, or anything. And I wanted to try to get at least one photo shoot lined up while I was in Barcelona. So what did I do? I went to Instagram. I went to the comments and sent out a few different ones, got some hit back. And mostly everybody was either busy or in a different part of Spain. So it wouldn't work out. I got this one young lady that said she was free and she was actually free for that same night that I would arrive to Barcelona. So that worked out perfectly. We covered the details and we set the time to meet up around 9 p.m. So I flew in to Barcelona, got there on time, got my taxi to my hotel. And that is when I started to uh, wait for the young lady. Now, this was the thing that got it started okay we agreed on several things before uh, she decided to go through with the shoot one was the time two location three the concepts and outfits okay we had that already agreed upon everything was squared away so there was no walking into this blind okay this was this is what we're going to do. This is how we're going to get it done. And this is this is it. OK, so we had what I call the mid crop top, which is a series on my channel. If you don't know, go check some uh, videos out. But essentially, it's a crop top. OK. The second thing was a bikini look because my hotel faces this very beautifully lit structure in Barcelona that everybody uh, particularly knows. So I wanted to play with the lighting and use that in my photos. So I wasn't able to do that, but that's a whole different story. Okay. Now the young lady arrives. I meet her outside. We talk now. Keep in mind, she is from Venezuela. 
luckily for me, my Spanish is great. So I can still communicate uh, great with her. Okay. She wanted me to use English, but when I used English, she couldn't really understand, but she wanted to still try. But in that type of situation, it's not really good to just keep trying because you kind of like press for time, things like that. Right. So I'm speaking to her in Spanish and we're setting everything up. We go to the room. All right. Go to the room and the building that I wanted to use, they turned off the lights so I could no longer use it. Also, the hotel is pretty strict on photography on the premise. So the bikini look that I wanted to do outside where they have like the infinity pool type look couldn't do it so that left us with the mid crop top look okay now i'm i'm fine with that a photo shoot is a photo shoot i have no problems so we start getting into the photo shoot we talking a little bit she's telling me how long she's been modeling and i'm telling her how long i've been taking photos and where i'm from and all of those things i like traveling talking about venezuela now, this is where things started to get shaky, okay? The outfit that we agreed on was like a tank top with like a crop top look. So normally it would be like a full tank top. You just take some scissors, cut it across. She brought a tank top, okay? It was a crop, it was a crop, but it had like a big Adidas emblem on there. Okay. It it was not going to fit the aesthetic. <laughs> it was not going to fit the aesthetic. The second thing were was the underwear. The underwear were like, let's let's put it like this. It wasn't anything that was aesthetically pleasing for underwear and the look. So I was like <sighs> There's no way I could use this, okay? There's no way that I could use this. So I'm, I'm trying to think about what I can do at this point because when the outfit doesn't look right, you're kind of already like out of the photo shoot at that point. And so for me, I'm trying to see how can I use this content? How can I use this footage in a way? Or if I have to bail, then... <laughs> We just totally bail. I decided to continue with it because I'm only in Barcelona for uh, this one. This is my first time. So I'm like, you know, I'm not, I'm not doing anything anyway. I got some time. So let, let's just see where this goes. Maybe she can pose because she is a model and she signed to an agency. So maybe she can pose to a point where the poses will help out with the lack of the outfit. So we keep going, all right? So I turn my camera on, I tell her, okay, we're ready to record. She says, let's record. So we set up to uh, start doing the intro and <laughs> she, this, this is where it just nose dive, okay? She stopped and was like, okay, give me one second. She stopped, went over to her bag, and she snorted some drugs. And the fact that she did that so casually, I was truly amazed at what I was seeing. Okay? Keep in mind, we got this whole production going on. And I'm sitting right there. And she just casually does it. And I'm like, okay, I know I'm somewhere else. But I'm like, okay, this is not normal for me, <laughs> okay? And 
you know, I'm, I'm not judging her or, or anything like that. Uh, you know, you live your life, you do what you do, whatever your extracurricular activities is, that is fine. But just don't do it with me when I am trying to conduct business, be professional, because immediately what followed me after that was just the thought of what could happen next. It was just endless possibilities. Like in I just my my mindset at that point was like this could happen and this could happen and this guy and I'm just thinking like ten steps ahead because I'm like I do not want to be in any type of situation especially abroad, okay? That's just not where I want to be, okay? You got you got things that can happen like she could have took that and overdosed and ended up in my room and now it's like, oh, overdosed on drugs. Oh, you drugged her? She's in your room and nah, we we team ain't not playing those games. All right. We we are not playing this game. That's this had to be the worst photography experience that I have ever had. I could not believe this. So the next thing in my head was how am I going to get out of this? Because now I definitely have to bail. All right. And now that she's took taken this drug, I don't know how her emotions are. I don't know. I don't know how she's going to be. So I don't want to be too too uh aggressive or uh impulsive to just be like all right you gotta go no this is because there's also that uh, communication uh between us where she only speaks spanish so i said okay we're gonna have to slowly and gracefully bow out of this photo shoot so what i decided to do was I looked, I looked at how she was acting. You could, you could tell something was different because her movement started becoming different and uh, the way she was acting. So what I did was, I promise this had to be the fastest photo shoot I have ever done. Okay. The fastest photo shoot I've ever done. I used <laughs> one, no, I had a whole setup at first, but after she did that, I put the camera, I, I put a flash on top of my camera and for five minutes, I took pictures of her for five minutes and just had her switch up in a lot of different positions. That way it seemed like it was a lot going on, but it really wasn't anything going on. That way I could check the box and kind of be like, yeah, we got the stuff. You know, she doesn't know how I typically shoot. I was like, yeah, yeah, we got the stuff. And I could potentially send her some if I just wanted to just be like, I don't want anything to do with what was going on right here. So that is how I got out. I, I told her, I was like, okay, we're done. And she she had like a puzzled look on her face like, like that's it. Like we just got started. I was like, oh no, no, we got we got a lot of shots. We got a lot of shots because I'm just trying to get her to put her stuff back on and just leave at this point. Just leave. So I ended up being fortunate in the fact that she was like, okay, we're good. Put her stuff on. Left the hotel room. When she left the hotel room, I shut the door, and I was like. I just sat there and was like, listen, I'm glad that it's over. I don't know what that was. A crazy photography experience abroad. But the takeaway here is you're going to have like those situations where you have to think and be cautious about how you react to certain stuff, right? Because if I would have been too impulsive, it could have changed or ended a different type of way. 
So I tried to think 10 steps ahead to where it wouldn't be such a blow and she wouldn't feel like I came here for nothing, wasted my time, even though rightfully so, I had I had the, the grounds to respond however I wanted because like, why would you do that? Why, why would you think that that is okay to do, okay? And that's the difference between, you know, being in the States, being abroad and, and not really understanding the culture where I don't know that could be normal uh that could be normal could not be normal so that's all the things that I'm taking into account but for you all make sure you know you reiterate the concepts that you're using what you're expecting the models to wear the time that you're supposed to do the photo shoot Make sure that they are responsive and uh, the communication is good so that you know everything is what you're expecting it to be. Um, secondly, I would say make sure you are 10 steps ahead of anything and, and thinking about all potential uh, outcomes. If you can try to think about most outcomes, you could prepare and react and respond accordingly that way you don't end up with any drama or any unnecessary things coming from you just trying to do something as simple as create as a photographer videographer a content creator so that is the craziest thing that has happened to me thus far as a content creator and doing these photo shoots everywhere else i hope you get something from this this is the story time with t to the m to the idd leave me a comment below your craziest your craziest photography videography experience let me know in the comments below i can't be by myself let me know what you have come across t to the m to the idd Peace. What is going on, guys? You just tuned in to T to the M to the IDD. And if you enjoy this content, make sure you subscribe to the channel. And if you really enjoy the content, check out some more of the video that you see right here. Oh, yeah. And hit that like button for me. <laughs>